Yo folks, what's up? Some good news, I've got the blades back on. All bar one bolt, which I managed to lose, so I'm going to go pick some up from the hardware store tonight. So that's that. I didn't manage to get a chance to weigh them or anything. Uh, but they should be alright. We should see. I've got this thing on there that I used before. It doesn't matter that this one's covered up because this one's going to go up to the top. But hopefully this one and that one round there will enable me with a camera to get uh, a good reading of what's going on because the tower's obviously homemade, bent all over the place, blah blah blah. This, I actually had to chop the bottom half off because I was going to have it on here and then I thought, well, the higher up the better, so I chopped the bottom half off and that should be cushy. Something else I decided to do, which people may think is a bit naff, but I'm not really that bothered, is a danger cable, uh, a metal one, uh, which can be used to hoist the tower out of the wind if need be. Uh, I've checked the bolts on there, they seem to be okay. This has got to be done before it flies. Uh, the chances of it falling out are minimal, but you know, it'd be a bit of a stupid mistake. So the plates seem okay. I had a bit of a mission getting them on. If I'm perfectly honest, <coughs> what had happened, uh, I could get two bolts in, but I was having problems aligning them. Uh, and it was a right nightmare, so I ended up putting two on and then taking them off. Uh, because I could only get three bolts in, and then I ground down the edge ends of the bolts and oiled everything nicely, the bolts and inside, and eventually got it all sorted. So one more bolt there, which I'll get later, and then she's good to go. In a bizzle. Good news, it looks like we're good to go on the meter shenanigans. Uh, what I did, and I'll make a video about it another time, is instead of having to mess around with the crappy little connectors on the back there. I just took them straight out to this, which has made it a lot easier connecting everything up and fanning about with it. So, touch wood, even though the tower will take some adjustment, uh, we could probably have a go at putting it up now, just to see if this is working. Well, it appears to be working, but the uh, it's not reading as much as the turbine suggests. Let's say in a hundred and it doesn't seem to be keeping the uh, keeping the power, if that makes sense. Nice and clear to record, though. Let's start using some of that power, didn't I? But yeah, it's working, but. I would have thought the turbine would be making a lot more than that unless it's got some kind of problem. But anyway, just to let you know it's up again and we'll see you soon. Peace. I'll leave it on a second. See if it does anything decent. But anyway, this meter appears to be working. Uh, but I'm not sure about the power reading in the bottom left. Maybe it's because the turbine's rocking about left and right because the tower needs some adjustment. But anyway. I'll see you in the next video. I'll just chuck that thing on for a minute. See if it does anything. It soon uh, took a load out of the batteries, look. Unplugged. It's worrying a bit because the noise it's making, I would expect it to be making seven or eight amps. Pretty sure this is all plugged in correctly, but if it doesn't improve, it will warrant a, a further inspection. But yeah, that's what's going on for the minute. Not very impressive numbers though.